the holiday weekend. That's right, KKLine's Rachel Kim live in Castaic along the five where the fire isn't the only thing causing misery on the road. Rach. Yeah, Juan and Amy, you want to know what misery looks like? Check it out. You are looking at the northbound 5 freeway. We are about two miles north of the Lake Hughes Road exit. The four lanes of this freeway will be merging into three lanes where you see those orange signs there. Eventually, further up north, it'll all come down to one lane. As you can imagine, these closures are pausing or completely changing many people's holiday weekend plans. It's a hot nightmare. <laughs> Traffic jam here with the smoke cutting down the freeway. As the battle to contain the root fire near Castaic continues, frustrations are flaring. Very frustrated. Yes, and then this heat doesn't make it any better. People traveling on Interstate 5 found themselves on the freeway, sitting, crawling, or just trying side streets because northbound I-5 had only one lane open and southbound had two open between Lake Hughes Road and Templin Highway. And I saw the closure and then we found this cut over, so now's the time to take it off and go. John Brucia and his family are from Costa Mesa. They're trying to get to Yosemite for the holiday weekend, but decided to get off the 5 through this area. We're going to get there when we get there. For Sarah Herrera, it's been a long journey back home to Bakersfield. Field after picking up her mom, who's been waiting at LAX since midnight. She's making sure her engine doesn't overheat in 112 degree weather. We don't want to just be stopped in a freeway stuck on there. We want to make sure, you know, that we're able to head back. Truck driver Jeet Singh's destination is Seattle, but he's way behind because of the I-5 gridlock. How have your travels been? Like it's too much traffic, I'm almost stuck in the two days in the alley. As firefighters work to establish a perimeter around the fire and put out hotspots, the South Coast Air Quality Management District has issued a smoke advisory for people affected by the smoke and ash. We recommend that people uh, stay indoors with their windows and doors closed. If you can run your AC or an air purifier uh, to help clear out the indoor air, that also helps. Dr. Epstein says the heat also forms smog or ozone air pollution in our region. He recommends checking their app for updates and warnings. Being able to check uh, your real-time air quality measurements provides a really good tool uh, to know what precautions you should take at a given time or location. Heat is too much, very hot. Now I'm going to the donut coffee. You drink the coffee too? I'll take some coffee? iced coffee for sure. Oh, let's go. Yes, let's go. I can certainly use another ice drink right about now. So at this point, there is no timeline on when Caltrans might reopen these lanes. So all we can say is you've been warned. Reporting live in Castaic, Rachel Kim, KCAL 9 News. All right, Rachel, thanks. Well, it is so hot outside. Some